How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic, wonderful day. Uh, my name is Odie Matthews. Welcome back to my channel on this website I made to call www. I was in bed asleep because the world is scary outside right now. com slash YouTube dot edu. And today we are taking a look. A lot of energy for me today. I don't know why. We're taking a look at the Baboon to the Moon Go backpack. Let's get into it. Okay, so if some of you remember a while back, I did the Baboon to the Moon uh, Go Duffel. And that is actually my most viewed video, as well as one of my most liked. So I really appreciate all the love and support on that. And I gotta say, just like with the Duffel, this thing is absolutely killer and probably one of my new favorite everyday backpacks. Lots of stuff to unpack on this, especially the fact that it's loaded with organization. It, I just love this color. The, the, this color is just, I love this this green color. There's plenty of other color options. I'll maybe if, if I can, I'll throw a couple up on the screen for you. But overall, real quick at the top, this bag is made from incredible materials. It's got great organization. It's a comfortable carry and it works really well as a minimal travel bag. Very minimal travel bag, but still a minimal travel bag, none the less. So with all of this, let's go ahead and start jumping into what is all about this bag. All right, so I'm gonna put this here and read you off a couple of the materials on this bag. I'm gonna hold it like this, get my workout in. So it's Kodora nylon, right, on the outside, the shell. The bottom is carbonite PU protection. So you got that nice like rubbery on the bottom here. You can also see it as well right there. You got uh, durable water repellent coating and YKK oversized zippers with these nice little blocks here. So it's got water resistant, got the DWR, which we absolutely love, got YKK zips, great Kodora nylon material, and this wonderful rubber on the bottom makes it very, very nice materials to touch. Again, a lot of energy coming off me today. I mean, let me try to dial back like 20%. Okay, so on this bag, you've got some incredible grab handles. This is something we like to talk about when it comes to bags, which I know we haven't done a bag in like a week or so, but we're, we're doing one now. So you got two very nice side handles on this bag that make it great for carry, and then one good bag handle on the top. So you got three points of access. They're all pretty much the exact same handle, all great for grab and go access. On that note, what you also have is great YKK, like oversized, like they, this is the same thing on the go bag. I love that they're just like, hey, let's just put giant zippers on this thing because why, why not? Like, you know, like, let's just, let's just do it. So you got these awesome giant YKK zips for the main compartment. You got two little like rectangle things that say baboon on it. So great, great little crank handles on these. And then the other two just have normal little string zipper pulls, but just oversized zippers. I mean, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to show you this one on the front. Can you? Can you see how big that is? It's huge. It's absolutely huge. Right? So great zippers, great zipper pulls all the way around. And including all the way around, the straps. These back panel straps are this nice foam, you know, like all straps. I mean, I say foam, but like most of them are pretty much foam. Very, very, very comfortable, nice breathable back panel with a little strap here so you can uh, use this with roller luggage if i can there we go you can use this with roller luggage if you wanted to great nice breathable back panel on this thing i'm gonna go and throw this on for you now i am 5'8 165 pounds um how i pretty much test all of my day packs is i take them to work with me and i gotta say i'm pretty happy with the the level of comfort that this thing offers on every on a daily like throughout the day i don't know how you're supposed to say that a daily throughout the daily basis great little sternum strap here as well keeps everything nice and tight but I like the way it looks and I like the way it feels I had to point this way because my microphone's over there so hopefully you can still hear me but I like it you know I mean it's just a very comfortable I think that the, the baboons the moon like aesthetic of their bags including their tote bag which we're gonna get to um, probably in a couple weeks we're gonna definitely do that because I have it been a pretty cool uh, killer like just regular tote bag um, but like even with their their duffel bag their go go duffel that they had like just the aesthetic and the comfort like the level of comfort that it offers as well as like the organization like I'm a fan I'm a huge fan of the way this bag looks feels and the comfort level so I would say all that 
start digging into the pockets on this thing. Okay, so off the top, you've got a very small, not very big, kind of difficult to get into water bottle pocket. This is one of my complaints is that the sides of this should have mesh or something, and it should be a little bit deeper almost. It doesn't really fit a full water bottle. Um, hold on one second, I got one I can show you. Hey, give me your water bottle. You stole this from a little kid. Um, <laughs> so again, this is like the exact, like this is a typical size like water bottle. It, it fits, but I don't trust it. And it's kind of, it's not something you can just easily, like I have to really think about it. And I don't want to have to think about it too much when I'm doing a water bottle. So my only, one of my only things about this bag is I would change this to like a mesh here and kind of make this a little bit easier to expand out. Cause it's, it's deep enough, it doesn't feel deep enough, but it is deep enough. It just needs a little bit more expandability there, baboon to the moon. Then before I forget, because I always forget on these little side pockets, you got this little hidden, little hidden guy here with a little clip little clip in there this is a great throwaway pocket for um, like a wallet or your car keys and uh, when I'm at work I actually typically put my car keys here because I, I know I need to have them I can't leave them in my car obviously but if I put them in the main compartment I feel like I'm gonna lose them so it's nice and I'm looking for them, like where are they oh, okay I'm in the little pocket right here so it's a nice little throwaway pocket for essentials that you want out of the way but you definitely don't want to forget so nice little side pocket kind of hidden small right there for you. Okay, then up at the top, at the front, I'm gonna go ahead and point this out. That is their logo branding. Uh, you might've seen it when I had the bag forward. You got it again on their strap here, it just says Baboon. Their company is Baboon to the moon, um, which is just awesome. I, <laughs> all, the, all the bags I've reviewed, it's gotta be the craziest name um, I, by far, absolutely by far, Baboon to the moon. Just so far out there that it works, you know what I mean? So you got their nice little logo branding right there. And then this front access compartment. I've actually got some stuff in here. I've got this little like, kind of, we've seen this on bags before. If you've seen any other reviews on my channel, if you haven't, hey, go check those out. But it's a pocket that's just a big empty, whatever you put, it's gonna fall down. No organization built in. Great for like papers and stuff like that, which is what I use it for. I actually have one of my Topo design pouches in here. Um, just with like some cords and cables and, and things that I might need uh, depending on what I'm doing. Then I also threw uh, an earplug and eye mask thing. I got a couple of these laying around from flying so much that I always like to have one in case I'm in a truck with somebody that like talks too much. I threw an extra iPhone charger, a little red notebook. Um, I just use this at work. Um, some crackers that I probably should have eaten and then some Duke Cannon like shower wipe for if I start getting sweaty at work. Cause you know, get sweaty on work sometimes. Don't judge me, you know, whatever. So just a nice big throwaway pocket. Again, like here's that topo pouch. If you put that in there, it's going all the way down to the bottom, which the bottom of this is right here. So pretty decently sized front pocket. Not a quick access pocket, not meant to be, not supposed to be. Just great for throwing, if you have like a notebook, papers, anything like I just showed you that I pulled out, anything like that just fits and slides in there really, really nice. And again, with this nice big oversized zipper, it's a great little pocket. Moving into the um, main compartment, I took all my work stuff out. So what I did is I put a Peak Design packing cube in here to, to kind of beef it out a little bit. But to also show you, this is a Peak Design packing cube with my normal travel loadout. And this one I was saying in the beginning, very minimal travel bag. Now all my poetry kits that I have and stuff like that are actually packed away because I'm in the process of moving at the time of recording. So I'm sorry about that, but I do know that I have used this as an overnight bag for like two days on a trip and I was able to put my gravel dop kit right here, all my clothes right here, and then all my other essential items fit perfectly in here. So this does work as a very minimal travel bag. This is a 24 liter bag, which is probably part of the reason that it kind of works because I've been kind of favoring like the 30 to 35 liter range, which I just had the nomadic 30 liter bag. Why am I dancing? I don't know. I have the 30 matic, 30 matic. 30 liter nomadic bag I'm gonna do, and that's kind of the size I typically am, am more geared towards a 30 to 35. So a 24 liter bag for like an overnight bag is actually phenomenal on size. And it fits this Peak Design packing cube quite well, if I'm being honest. And again, that's like pretty much packed out with everything I would have. So you got this nice open space, which we'll get to. But first off on the back, you got this nice little zippered mesh guy. And I have my Sennheiser PX550 uh, noise canceling Bluetooth headphones that fit 
just so perfectly right up there. I love that. It's hard to find a good pocket for these. Um, so that is a great little pocket that I like to put those in, but just a nice mesh with a zipper, a little bit of dimension to it. Just a great little top pocket. There you also on the other side have another pocket, which we'll just go ahead and flip this around. You've got all this organization and this is like a little flat pocket thing that you could easily throw stuff in there. So if you just wanted to, you know, unzip it a little bit, you could go towards the front or you could go towards the back and have kind of like a little quick access, a little sneak around there. Cause there is no, like I said, there is no quick access on this bag. So as you move around to this, I'll show you the best I can. Like I said, you got that one pocket with this nice like piece or felt kind of lining. All these pockets here are lined with that. So you got one big one, um, I would say like a medium one, a uh, larger one, and then three pin guys all right here on this thing. Um, not as wide or as wide as a pack of crackers. So, and this one, is not as wide as a little red notebook. So there's your there's your comparison. But honestly, in all seriousness, great little organization bits, um, portable charger, you know, things like that, stick of gum, you know, pin bits, just a perfect day pack kind of loadout if you're going to the, you know, doing some business, if you're doing business stuff. And then here is that full chasm of a bag, just tons and tons and tons of space. I really, really love how much space there is in this bag packs out super well and if you want to pack it out more and just totally not use this front pocket you can definitely pack this and make this tied up top so you wouldn't really be able to use it but you could definitely pack it out way more than probably what i even did but again just a great big pocket very minimal organization but you don't really need it because that's not what this bag is for so it's just wonderful i really really like it then moving to the back this is where you get your um laptop and tablet compartment now this zip does something different it goes just a little bit on this side and then it goes all the way down to the water bottle so you got like this this kind of opening you know what i'm talking about we've seen these kind of openings before this is a great pocket laptop compartment fits up to a 15 inch macbook pro i don't have either of my laptops when my, my mac is recording my audio which is a 13 inch and it fit in there perfectly and my 15 inch work rack pop work rack pop is in my work pop so i don't really know but great laptop compartment here and then as you can see i've actually got my ipad mini in the tablet sleeve i don't know if you could go too much bigger than an ipad mini it would not fit a regular ipad um, that I can tell maybe it would I don't really know how big a regular iPad is But I do know that my mini doesn't have a heck of a lot of room But it fits in there super nice and then I also have like a composition book because you've got plenty of space in there if You can see you got plenty of space in there to throw notebooks and stuff like that So this would also be good um, For like as a school backpack. I really kind of think it would be depending on how school is I haven't been in school in like eight years. So Because I didn't go to college so, great little laptop sleeve. And this bag, that's it, kind of empty. It's just, it's just a nice little little bag. It's just a great little throw around daily carry that can fit a ton of stuff that's super comfortable and can be used as like an overnight bag for maybe one to two nights, depending on how you, you go. I, like I said, I used it for two nights and I think it was just the perfect amount of time, the perfect amount of space for what I would do for this. So I think it, I think it honestly is a, is a really good bag to, 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 to look at, which we're doing. So, but yeah, if you guys want to check out Baboon to the Moon, I really love what this company is doing. They were super fun to talk to as well. And their customer support is absolutely fantastic. And their Go Duffel, which I'll throw a little thingy up here for, is a phenomenal little just duffel bag. And this is just a great little backpack. Okay. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this bag, let me know in the comments below. I will do my very best to answer those for you. And there's a product you want me to get my hands on and do a review on so you can see what it's like before you buy it. Let me know. I'll do my best to, to make that happen. Uh, thank you guys uh, so much for subscribing. Uh, like this video if you would like to. And um, again, just thank you for all your support and you know helping me pass 300 subscribers. I said in my other video and I'll say it in this one. Um, really means, means a lot. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Hope you're staying safe. Uh, that's the end of the video, I think. So I'll see you, uh, I'll see you next time.